a Star Wars themed, vaguely, uh, use your imagination, with a lightsaber or a mop or broom or something long handle. I saw Helen's just messaged me about a rolling pin. A rolling pin isn't going to be long enough or you can try but some of the exercises you might find extremely difficult to manage. So um, uh, thanks thanks for um, re-watching some of our workouts last week. It was nice for me to have a little break um, but I'm glad to be back with you today. So have we all got our lightsabers at the ready? Now I very much encourage you to do Star Wars sound effects and you do have a little challenge at the end to take your own video which you can send to me um, but the rest of the exercises are yeah, use your imagination. We've got some sort of fighty, fighty Star Wars ones. Right, so we're going to start today with a forward and back flip. So you're going to get whatever long handled implement you've got. And I've hit, I've got a little um, sweeping brush here. So you're going to put that end on the floor and we're going to do a forward and back flip. So for this one, I'm going to hold it in one hand and I'm going to come forward all the way to the floor and then I'm going to take it back and all the way back to the floor on the other side. So I'm going to go forward and back coming down to a little lunge or a squat at each end to try and reach it down to the floor. If you can't reach the floor, don't worry, just take it down as low as you comfortably can and come forward. But if you can get it all the way down to the floor, then let's do it. We're getting moving. It's Monday motivation time. We are moving. Hello, everybody. Keep it going with these flips. Keep it going. Cameron's got his lightsaber. I can't wait to see the video of that, Amy. Really excited. Forward and back flips. A couple more on this side, then we're going to change over. This will get the heart rate going. Okay, let's change onto the other side. So we're going to do our forward and back flips on this side. Forward and back. So just taking it as low as you can. If you can get it all the way down to the floor, that's great. Hey, Debs. I'm going to tell you a secret. I've never even watched Star Wars. <gasps> Outrageous! You've got to tell me if it's worth it. Onto the other side. Hoop, forward and back, forward and back. Doing good. Couple more. And rest. Okay. Kate, lightsaber battery issues. Oh my goodness, that sounds devastating. Right. Okay, so now we're going to do our halo which we've done with smaller objects before, but with a lightsaber, much harder. You're really gonna have to work your shoulder mobility here. So we're gonna hold the lightsaber, light end down, and we're gonna take it around the body. And what you can do is do a What sound does the lightsaber make? I don't know, because I've not watched it. But you guys can make your sound effects. So we're gonna take it around the body, trying to get those shoulders and elbows really moving. Big circles around the body. Good. Five more this side, then we're going to go the other way. Just do what you can with this. If your shoulders aren't too flexible, you can take it out a bit wider. And let's change direction. So the other way around. Work in those shoulders. Good, big halos. I'm smacking into all sorts of things in the kitchen here. In the aim of movement. We've got five more this side. Four. Three. Two. One. And rest. Right, now we're going to go proper Star Wars style with a lightsaber fighting. Right, so. I'm going to hold the lightsaber horizontally. I'm going to have one foot forward. And whatever foot is forward, I'm going to have that arm in front. And this is going to be a step and strike. So we're going to take a big step forward, bend front knee, and we're going to strike out in front. So here's where we can definitely do sound effects. Or pow, or bang, or some other little sound effect. Whatever sound effect you like, you can decide. And you can do a step forward, or if you want to, because I know some of you love it, you can bring it into a lunge. So if you want to make that a little bit more challenging, drop that back knee down, really push forward and come into the lunge. Otherwise, just a step and strike is fine. And you can do these as fast or as slow as you like. You can slow it down. You can do it double time. Your workout, your movement. 
Step and strike. Step and strike. There's a DPD man who's about to deliver to my house. He is wondering what on earth I'm doing. Step and strike. Step and strike. We're going to do three more this side, then we're going to switch sides. Three, two, one. Okay, other foot forward, other hand forward. Ready, and we go. Step and strike. Bring it into that lunge if you want to. I'm desperate to hear your lightsaber sound effects at the end of this. So make sure you drop yourself a, a little comment with a video of yourself in. So I can see all your best sound effects. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Get into that lunge if you want. Seven. Six. Good. Four. How many, I'm doing that thing where I can't count. Three. Two. One. And rest. Okay, guys. Next up, a simple bicep curl. So we're going to take an underarm grip of our lightsaber and we're just going to lift up. What we're going to do when we do this is try and keep our elbows squeezed into our body so our upper arms stay exactly where they are. So our elbows don't move, they're just a hinge. So this is just your warm up before we get into a bit of coordination. Little bicep curl, faster or slow as you want. And then I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. It's going to be confusing because of the up down nature of the next exercise. So we bicep curl up, we hold up, we squat down, we bicep curl down. Up, squat, down. Good. We don't do it together, we do it as separate movements. So we can't be squatting down as we're curling up. That will confuse matters. Lovely, let's keep these going. We're going to do 15 more. You can sit down into a chair if you need. You can do a half squat, you can do a nice deep full squat if that's your thing. Whatever makes you happy guys. Find your own level. 10 more. Keep it going. Nine. Eight, who's got a heavy lightsaber? Seven. Hey Joe. Six. Five. Four, keep it going. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're gonna put our lightsabers down on the floor. How are we doing guys, you still with me? Drop me a little thumbs up if you're still in the room and still hanging on in there. Okay, so next exercise, we're gonna do a hurdle toe tap. We've done this before where we've hurdled over, but this time we're gonna bring in an element of balance so as you come over, we're going to tap the toe onto the top of the other foot. So we only ever have one foot touching the floor at the same time. So we're going to hop over. Nice one guys, doing good. Toe taps. So with this one, again you can find your own level. You can take a bigger jump. So we're doing more side to side power. Or you can do a step, just practicing your balance. You can go slow, you can go fast. I don't mind what you do, so long as we're only ever on one foot at one time, as long as we're lifting that foot over your lightsaber. We're gonna do 20 more seconds of this. Find your own pace. Keep it going. Amy's loving it. We're loving having you here, Amy. I say we, it's me. I love having you here. Another 10 seconds. Your own level. Doing good. Four, three, two, one, and breather, breather. Who's that, Chris? Catch up once it's done. Weary Jedi's, oh no. No one likes a weary Jedi. Right, we're gonna turn our lights over this way. And here we're gonna do some quick steps. So for this we're gonna be up on the toes, so we're practicing a little balance and a little bit of agility. We're just going to do one round, 20 on each side. So for this, I'm going to go forward, forward, back, back, stepping over. So I'm going to do 20 leading with one leg, and then I'm going to do 20 leading with the other leg. So we're going to go right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. And we're going to keep that going. You can step it if you want. You can run it. 
I say 20, I'll count 20, and we'll see how many you can do in that time. So you will level your pace. You can march it, you can walk it, you can run it. You can absolutely go for it if you want. So we're doing right, left, right, left. Last few. Three, two, one. Breather. And then we're going to go left, right, left, right. You'll be better on one side and more coordinated on one side. This is my least coordinated side. So left, right, left, right. And again, we can walk it. We can run it. We can step it. We can march it. You can bring in your arm swings. You can bring in your wiggles. Your style. We've got 10 to go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, last 15 second challenge. So for this one, you can practice with me and then you can go offline, you can practice again. And what I want you to do is 15 seconds of your own lightsaber fighting with sound effects. And this is what I'd love for you to take a video of and put in the comments. So you can be as energetic as you want and you can go in any way. Just try not to hit things around you like the glasses on my shelf. Okay, so 15 seconds. We can do a, a jump over or something. I don't know, whatever they do in Star Wars. Rotation. Thanks for joining me for 10 minutes of movement, guys. I hope you've had fun. May the force be with you.